Oh no, another kind of video about the screen again. No, don't tell us the truth. We don't want to hear the truth. Don't, don't tell us about the truth. We want to fall asleep again. No, no. Don't do it. Don't, 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 don't. Don't talk about this. Don't do it. No. The screen. No artist can understand its art. Because you are a perfect vessel for expressing something without your understanding of it almost. So that you cannot change it. So this genius idea of Matt to make this screen, the screen, outer reality, being a fluid, inner, innermost ring, being solid, real. No, no. Don't tell us. No. Yeah. I will tell you guys. And I had a bit hard time finding those those comments about hardening mortar. But it's there. And uh, let's see. Let's see. So yeah, there's a feature in YouTube. You can click here, show transcript. Wait, I'll, I, I just have to say it's really, really good. So you can see here, uh, I recommend it. So by clicking there, you can see the entire comment. You can search for everything that's said in a video. And by doing like this, I managed to find finally find when he said like this, and I will show it to you. Um, I will show it to you, guys. Let's listen to Matt in his own words. Remember, a pearl, the innermost center thing that is shown on the X-ray when when you make a brain. Uh, what do you call it? Magnetic x-ray or whatever you see that solid part made from mortar a kind of mortar because limestone is is the material that a pearl is made from a pearl calcium carbonate same material making mortar and he is basically doing a drawing a pearl with its layers. And now I'll, I will let Matt talk from uh, two years ago. Let's listen to him. Mold. It can then mold or ding. There's scripts on TV and oh, this hand looks so interesting. Sorry, wait a moment. I need to fix something. There's too high volume on this other stuff. Why didn't I think about that? Wait a moment. Oh, my presentation style is so impressive, guys. 
but you're still here. Okay, let's let's hear Matt talk. Well, interesting. I'm just the thespians presenting their scripts on TV, and oh, this hand looks so interesting. I'm just going to have to reach up and shake it. Then you shake it, and it can mold. It can then mold or or set the cement in that second ring, because everybody, in a way, is attached to that second ring. Unless you're one guy in the middle of you know, the, you know, the middle of a, of, of a Timbuktu who are living in a cardboard box. Almost everybody has at least a few connections to that second ring. You're living in the... So, so as you heard, he mentioned mold and, and cement. Uh, let's, but there are more places. Let's listen to that. to actually create reality itself so the uh you know the idea or the metaphor the analogy was the screen floats its images or its concepts and they're very blurry or the cement hasn't hardened it's wet cement they're very blurry or the cement hasn't hardened it's wet cement very its images or its concepts and they're very blurry or the cement hasn't hardened its wet cement and then it uses its society its systems its governments and its minions to influence real spirited human beings to ac accept those blurry images or to accept the wet cement so it's the wet, it's the wet cement uh, so th this is so God damn fascinating. Don't rage at me, please. You can read about this in the Bible also, Matt. They say the same stuff in the Bible also. God doesn't like that cement that is... Um, what, did, what did he call it? Like this quote from, uh, from when they built that wall. I forgot it, okay? Basically, building your uh, building something with with the incorrect cement is is not really cool. Doesn't doesn't impress the Bible God or something like that. Uh, so yeah. He talked about this uh, many times, about the hardening of cement, and this, this is why it says solid in the middle, and this is why it says fluid outside, because as he said himself, it is about, it's about the cement that hardens. You know, the idea, the metaphor, the analogy was the screen floats its images or its concepts and they're very blurry or the cement hasn't hardened, it's wet cement. And then it uses its society, its systems, its governments and its minions to influence real spirited human beings to accept those blurry images or to accept. tire with a pump you know just push down the pump 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 the bike tire inflates and hardens up you're giving it energy but you're not yeah that's that was something else uh, that I didn't remember but I searched for hardens hardens was also when there were, yeah, the hardening of cement. Anyhow, guys, so I remember listening to these videos and 
when he got this idea, maybe even before drawing this image, he started talking about the cement and the cement entity, you know, <laughs> the, the Christ. It's the Christ, guys. The cement. What's in what's in the Kaaba in Mecca? What's what's where is is the is the stone in in, in this Kaaba Kaaba? Where is it? Well, it's it's in the corner. It's of course in the corner. It's a cornerstone, guys. The Kaaba has a co cornerstone, and what's in that? What's in that stone? You read about it. You see that it's cement holding together pieces of stones that broke, supposedly broke, you know? So it's it's everywhere. This 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 stone, this limestone, this cement, it finds itself into the art of of Matt, Matt's art, that he, he can't understand it, even though he says the words himself. Maybe he's not allowed to understand his own art. The artist is not allowed to enjoy its own art. That's the strange thing. You know, the idea, the metaphor, the analogy was the screen floats its images or its concepts, and they're very blurry or the cement hasn't hardened its wet cement and then it uses its society its systems its governments and its minions to influence real spirited human beings to ex yeah that looks so interesting i'm just gonna have to reach up and shake it then you shake it and it can mold, it can then mold or, or set the cement in that second ring. Because everybody in a way is attached to that second ring. Unless you're one guy in the middle of, you know, you know the middle of, a, of, of a Timbuktu. So yeah, it's definitely there. I'm not making it up. Um, cement. You can see the um, this. Uh, what is it called? <laughs> um. I don't know, I lost the words, but you uh, go up that ladder. Ladder? Is the, <laughs> I forgot the name of the ladder. You see the small small stones? He called them minions, okay? He called them minions, the stones. But in the other art, it's stones. It, it's grains of sand. You have, you have the ladders to heaven. It's the same ladder that is going from this stone the ladder goes from the stone do you see guys wait i'll just you you, you don't know how serious i am about this it's the same ladder it's the same ladder from Jakob's dream. Jakob fell asleep on a stone. On a limestone. He fell asleep. Why? Why is this significant? Well. Because. The, mi the microcosm. Cosm is the macrocosm. As within so without. You see. This is why it's important. Um, Matt found the pearl, you see, 
He connected it to the ladder. Ladder leading to paradise? I don't know. Well, it's there. And it's all around us in uh, in the symbology. You see the two into one, you see all of this this stuff. Old artwork, Jesus carrying blue and red clothes, while his his followers ha followers has only one one color, either red or blue. You have this, uh, how do you say, the brothers of. I mean, there are all these stories, and in the artwork, it's one color versus the other col other color. You see, but. Yeah. <sighs> okay. I hope I hope you like this video, guys, because Matt doesn't like me for doing this video, I believe. Um but maybe I I, I don't know why to be honest. You know, I don't really know why. And the only thing I can come up with, because I know that Matt is interested in truth, right? He is. So what's the, what's the problem? What's the deal with this? Well, the only answer I can come up with is that an artist cannot understand its own art. Sure. Matt knew that this meant something philosophical. It meant something that has to do with what's real, what's not real, the inner versus the outer, the heart in the middle, which I said is the Christ uh, consciousness heart, you know, the symbolism about that. An outside, the important thing is outside this solid crystal. You see, it's a crystal. This is a crystal. A Christ Al. A Christ L. What's L? L is the sun. L is hell. Crystal. Christ L. Christ sun. So, Christ. The light going into the crystal is in the name itself, Christ Al, Christ Al. You see? What I'm trying to tell you guys also is that uh, all religions are telling the same thing, but we are lazy to see it. We are um, not bold, we're not bold enough to see it or the surrounding. I talk about it, you know, I talk about it, but no one else, no one dares to to quote me, no one dares to to um, to tell me, no one, no one dares to tell me. Hey man, you're not crazy. You're 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 right about this. No one dares to tell me that. Why is it like that? But I know that I'm right, you know? And and I can see how how, how the freaking world world is forming around this message. It's forming around the crystal message. When is the price for being a, a, a chicken? When, when will people not be chickens anymore and, and be bold? 
when is that because the truth is there all around Sometimes it feels like I'm this monster put into a prison and the, there are different strategies to handle, handle me, handle this and the current strategy is Everyone be quiet, maybe he doesn't know that he's right Maybe he will fall asleep again. Maybe that will happen. The monster, the monster is growing inside those bars and it's pushing apart this, this prison, you know? And what is that, right? The panel is pushing out. It wants to metamorphize in our brain. Take. Is it? It doesn't. What does it want to take control? Does it want to? Um, put us together in, in a hive, in a hive mind. Of course, if you are off frequency, maybe that's the, you know, the biblical stories of, of the, I, I forgot what it's called, right? The, for, for some it's hell, for some, I, I don't like using hell as a bad word. If I were presented with two doors, one door which said hell and the other door said heaven with the clouds. One were burning. Everyone got to choose where do you want to go? So, what do you think, right? Everything is a trick down here. Everything is opposite, okay? And this is also interesting because according to uh, the Bible story and these things, uh, God likes to invert things. It likes to invert things. Uh, so I heard this thing that when it comes to... Uh, um, who God picks in these Abrahamic religions? Who does who does it? God. I don't want to call it he, because I don't think it's a he, the God, or a she. Okay, it's not a he or a she. It's an it or or both. Okay, I don't know. Uh, but who does it pick? Well, it goes against. Our, our human culture and um, pushes us because it picks the it always picks the last born not the first born you see human culture human culture human ideas are not the same as as this god a god idea it is going against what what we are used to what we prefer okay and so you can see this in 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 how how um, he picks his um, those that are to spread this spiritual message um, the the last born is picked 
uh, usually, yeah, it's the last born son, right? The last born son. Contrary to human, uh, the human uh, norm, the human norm to pick the first born son. Oh, the first born son, you are the, the, the great one. I, who was it? Was it uh, King Solomon? If I remember correctly, he was the. He was not the first firstborn son, right? I believe so. That that's that's good. That's a great example. Okay. So it goes against the grain. Okay, it goes again against what you're used to. Everything is a trick, and um, we should be thankful thankful we should be thankful for for the um, for the adversary ad, ad, adversary <laughs> adversary we should be thankful for the adversary so that the adversary can can um, show the the real face of people and therefore you can love the adversary love that thing the adversary adversary is this pineal gland the pineal gland the, the cornerstone the the pearl it's this okay and it's the hellraiser it's the demon to some angel to others remember after after Christ died on the cross or before he died on the cross he told um, he told this this man next to him today we will be in paradise and directly when they died they went to hell they went to hell and stayed there for a while many a few days actually I think it was three days so yeah Christ promised paradise and went to hell how do you feel about that right how do you feel everything is inverted so I would obviously pick that door that says hell and you have all the narcissists and arrogant abusers of, of families, of abusers of, of people and abusers of different kinds that are blind and they're going to pick that heavenly door. And I don't think it will work out that well for them. That's what I believe. I, I can I can just see it everywhere. The pattern. The, the truth. What is important if not truth? And if, if, if the pattern shows a truth that... Is consistent it is repeating it is really clear about this the pattern there is no choice anymore there is no choice about this it just is like this Every time you have an opinion of something, a person or whatever, water, what is water? Water is, co is often felt as cold, it is um, thicker than air. But how do you know that water is thicker than air? Well, you have seen it in many ways, you have experienced it. You know the pat 
pattern is showing that to you. You believe your idea is correct about water because there's a pattern around that giving you um, information about what water is, about what things is, things forming your opinion about things. So there is no choice about what what is true in this inverted world. world. There is no... And, and as, as some say, You know this latest pandemic, did you forget it already? It was, you know, in what I think about it, it was BS, right? In my opinion. It was BS all the way through. But it's, in a way, it was genius. It's genius to, to pick out these, these losers, you know? How many losers are there? Everyone are freaking losers, you see? You see guys, losers all the way the eye can see, everywhere, standing all around you, just losers everywhere. Ah, let's end this video now guys, it's enough. See you. Bye.